Okay, so today for ELA, what you're gonna do is write your own questions about a text to create a game, okay? So there's two passages that we're going to read. So one side of the class is going to get a nonfiction passage, and then the other class is going to get a fix fiction passage. So you're gonna read that, okay? Once you're done, you're gonna create a math or an ELA game board for friends to play. So this can be found in Google Classroom for you at home. For those in class, we're actually going to be making it on paper. So going to Google Classroom, very similar to what we will be doing in class, so you guys can pay attention. So making your own game will look like this. Here are the directions. This is something that's not going to be done in one day. Okay, it's gonna be created this whole week and then on Thursday my make final touches and then Friday you will be able to share your game with friends and you guys can play with each other. We also thought about other classes coming in and playing each other's games. Okay, so this is definitely the directions of how to make a game. So you are reading the nonfiction passage, putting this in here, okay? You're gonna roll a dice and pick a card if you get the question correct move the amount of spaces on the dice. So this is kind of the idea of how your game will look like. So on here, how to create a game, you have to have at least, this is for everyone, 15 questions that can be answered using the text and write each on a different card. So I probably shouldn't say it's going to be a um, math game. I'm going to just say ELA game, changing that because you're gonna have to try and use the passage that you get, okay? Then you're gonna write um, write each question on a different card. So your cards are gonna be like this. You guys are gonna have individual cards that we're going to be making. You're gonna also have to make an answer key. That is one of the criterias. You're gonna have to at least fill in four spaces on the game board with other directions. So you know how like, <clears throat> Um, what is that? Candyland. You land on a certain mark and the marks can tell you like go back two spaces or there's like chutes and ladders. You get like a slide or something and you can slide down. Those are some added things you can do to your game board. Okay. Or right here, take another turn or go ahead two spaces or miss a turn. Good ideas. So you're going to turn your game into me. Then you're going to take turns playing with classmates. So here are examples of game boards. You're gonna either choose this one, they're all on here. This one, or this one. You only need to choose one. And then here are your cards that you are going to use. And again, you need 15 questions, and then you also need to make an answer key, and you need to have 15 of those to get full points. So it's gonna tell you exactly how to choose your game pieces, this whole slide basically tells you what to do. If you have any questions, just let me know.